Hello and welcome everyone. I have amazing news for you. So, a lot of you guys have been requesting this conversion and it's taken so much time, but it is finally done. Um, essentially, all of you know about the OCP church notes. Just take a look at how much, <laughs> how much it's covering. And you guys will see me using it all of the time, uh, right? Just jumping around, just having a lot of convenient uh, notes for all of it. All of the same information is covered, right? All of these nodes are expanded, but I can reassure you that every single node is there. I mean, this is the essentially the map, and <laughs> it's uh, it's a lot, right? Uh, the funny thing, I feel like people aren't really using this even like that practically. Uh, people just think it really looks cool, and I mean, I can't disagree with it. It's very cool just being able to see like different connections and just seeing how much it really is, right? So, um, so yeah. Essentially, what I want to show you in this video is, once again, we have converted all of this information into Obsidian. So if you purchase, you will not only get the OCP territory notes, but you will also get the Obsidian uh, as well in the same purchase. And we do not charge a dollar more. Okay, it's exact same price and definitely go check it out. I think you will absolutely love it, right? So this one, what I want to uh, show in this video real quick is just the basics of how to use it, right? <clears throat> So you open up the vault and we have a star tear section. These are essentially just hyperlinks, right? So one of the typical things that I do for each machine is just that I go to the initial recon and then I just have copy paste commands, right, for the target and then the common ways to check for uh, essentially brute forcing files, right? Not just directories, because if the server is running as a PHP, but you are not prefacing with PHP, then you won't find these specific files, right? Um, the same thing with something like uh, ASP and ASPX, etc, 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 but yeah. And then brute forcing files, these are just like common things, it's a basic way to get started, right? And then I have like a nice little nmap one-liner that I get started with, right? Just a very basic way to get started. Uh, then I have hyperlinks to different sections, right? One of the common things that I do for essential uh, Linux progress escalation is to stabilize the shell, right? And just having all of these commands and different binaries and how to check for SUID binaries and all of that stuff, right? So, it's very, very convenient just to have immediate, essentially, hyperlinks to different sections, right? Um, so now we are here, right? So I really just wanted to show that. So that's essentially the initial recon. And then we also have the checklist, right? So if you go to checklist right here, we have the standalone and we have Active Directory checklist, right? Both of them. So if you click here, we have essentially this checklist that you... These are just very basics, right? It was more so intended for people that are completely new, to just make sure that they aren't forgetting about very basic things, right? Um, the Active Directory is a little bit more comprehensive, right? But if, once again, it's just a basic checklist to make sure that you check in shares for not only the initial user, but all of the users. You check in Blonde Hound, you check in for certificate based attacks with Certify, right? Check if a share is writable so you can grab hashes, etc., or possibly a different attack, right? This basic things that is essentially just right there and available for you. So if you're doing a machine, you can essentially go to the checklist. You go to the 80 checklist right there. And then for the different checklists, you can do like, okay, I'm doing this machine right here. You go to the checklist and you have all of the checklists. And here you're essentially spamming different nodes, right? So, so for instance, like expose FTP, uh, check vuln, uh, find an interesting folder uh, on port 80, right? And you're just kind of like taking some ugly notes as you go, just to keep some structure, right? Or something like um, um, found this exploit, check later in case of rabbit hole, right? Stuff like this, right? So you just want to have some ugly notes. And for each of the different ADA machines, you just have that, right? But obviously, if you're going back to the territory, just because they have all of the notes expanded, right? It's just a very convenient uh, little click here, collapse, and then expand all of the notes. You can just see how much you cover it. Like, <laughs> it's so much, and people have been absolutely loving it, and uh, yes, definitely go check it out. Go and explore on your own, uh, regardless of what you're interested in. We cover a lot of different sections, not just things for OCP, but also things that are massively helpful as a pen tester and general. Uh, just good stuff to explore, and people have been loving it. And we've gotten so, ma so many requests for converting it to Obsidian, so I really hope that you go and check it out. I think you will absolutely love it, and yes... Have an awesome, awesome date, and I cannot wait to hear all of you guys' feedback, and I think you will love it. Thank you so much.